All right, ladies and gentlemen, in my years here at Thor News, I get a lot of weird threats. And they keep escalating. And so I might as well get the video out and the truth out while I can before they get me. And you know what? The world is just going to be a super crappy place where everybody argues and is confused the whole time and movies don't come back and the space shuttle doesn't come back and rock and roll is dead. And everything's just going to suck and it's like we're going to be stuck in the 80s. Nah, killing me is not really a threat. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it's only going to work out for the 12 richest families on the planet, who wants to stick around for that crap? You know what I'm saying? If they, and if they promised you something, all they were lying to everybody else, what would make you think that they were going to honor their promise? You know what I'm saying? So why they keep the information so compartmentalized? When people start chaining it together, they'll be like, hey, wait a second. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so. It was like on Friday, people were like, oh, Irma's a nothing burger. And I, I have a feeling on Monday, people were like, oh my God, it's going to be danger to the East Coast. I could be wrong. Remember, I'm not a professional meteorologist. I'm not even a semi-professional meteorologist. I'm just Thor, Thor News. And so we're looking at the latest models here, unedited. Because I'm still sick, and I can't sleep. And like I said, I've only got a couple days left to live, you know. <laughs> we might as well have, have some fun, ladies and gentlemen. wee -haw! Okay, so yeah, we got, and this is very serious. Please, you know, don't think... I'm not taking this as seriously as it is because remember I've just returned to Houston I have empathy so I can feel the sadness and the, just there's trash like you wouldn't believe like 8 feet high 30 feet deep everywhere and then you know keys got wiped out and Florida took major major damage now it looks like the east coast is going to take damage it looks like on this model, Florida's going to get hit again. It seems like every time that happens, there's just a bunch of people in Silicon Valley and San Francisco that are celebrating. That they're always just so happy. Now, they're... It's just weird. You know what I'm saying? But I guess Cal San Francisco is the Red Cross Red Shield State. So, you know, they're like Team Mars. Like, yay! We love human pain and suffering! Okay. That's where this one's going. So. Yep, the GFS shows Jose getting really close up the eastern seaboard and we've seen some pretty big wave heights coming out of some of these totals and if that didn't alarm you enough then Lee comes up and strikes Florida this is on the GFS remember, remember it's like three days out. At least for Jose and like seven days out for Lee. So, you know, I, I advise you, you're not supposed to listen to me. You're supposed to go listen to the uh, National Hurricane Center or or, you know, whoever the government tells you to listen to. You know? But, more and more, you're all just soon to be alarmed at the condition of the ocean and what will be happening over the next few weeks. We're now looking at the European model. And if you'll notice, this is Lee. I'm 26, so it's pretty much the GFS says 
Jose, it's gonna be hitting lower. He says, no, it'll be a bit higher. And so, the European has Jose skirting the East Coast and then heading out to sea. And then it has Lee striking the lower East Coast. I got sneezed. Okay, so yeah, it's all alarming. It's all alarming, man. Oh yeah, so this is nineteenth. This is this is the gem. Yeah, that looks like trouble. It definitely looks like trouble. Look at that. So yeah, I'm gonna play it forward. So the gem has Jose making landfall. Right around right around New York. Boston. And so we got three models showing Lee hitting somewhere between Florida, South Carolina. North Carolina. You know? What do we got over here? This is the nab gem. So like I'm 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 not making light of this, you know. I took a calculated risk. I was a fool. I thought I could get people to come together which included the richest families the top, the top trades people on the planet and all the people I tried to be the bridge between the power and the people and I failed you know so I will probably have to pay with my life <laughs> yeah that's cool like I said, who wants to stick around Earth if it's just going to be a shithole anyways? And that's exactly where they're taking us. And literally. Do they have to stick their dicks in our brain? Does it have to be spiritual warfare day and night? Do they have to, like, make everything totally miserable at all times? Like, what type of evil demonic creatures are they? I don't know, they like it. And someone's like the same demon spirit that was behind the Spanish Inquisition. Which I warned of. And this is also Jose shows Landfall on the Nab Jam. So yeah, we got really bad situations all across the board. You know? Like I said, I'm crazy. So you don't have to take my advice. It's just me talking about stuff as I'm showing you the models. So... Crazy days indeed. Crazy days indeed. I really wish we would come together. I guess it's too late for that now, huh? All right. So, oh, I want to remind you, Thor News is a publicly funded YouTube channel, and I live and survive off your donations. And so, if I want to enjoy the last few days, I have. I'd appreciate it if you could donate so I can, you know, eat food and stuff and uh, if I have to go to the doctor, if the sickness does not go away, and if I have to evacuate Houston again in the near future, because even though all the ones are showing Lee going here, I don't know, it could go Jose, East Coast, Lee, Florida, and then Maria back into the Gulf. That would seem to be a pattern. Uh, I'll have my link in the description box. If you want to thank me for all my work. 
The guy that sacrificed his life to bring the truth. But it doesn't appear that it did much good. Anywho. I guess that's the price I pay for having delusions of grandeur, thinking I could get everybody to agree to your truth, take a step forward into a wonderful future together. When I guess the evil demonic spirits that control Earth, like hell no, we're just gonna keep this place in a crappy slave state from now till as long as we can maintain it. So may divine justice return soon. Anyway, God bless everyone, and y'all have a great day. Peace out.